is Jessica from STEM Apple guys. Welcome to another tutorial. In this tutorial, we're going to continue where we left off in the last tutorial. As you remember, in the last tutorial, we created all of these images. And now they're in that folder that was created by the code, uh, January 21st. Uh, it's Saturday, January 21st, 2017. Okay. And this is in a different directory. As you can see here, whoops, I'm here in this directory which is this one right here and that one right there okay so I don't want you to get confused the images were saved in here for this date you can have each date and they were saved here okay so there's it's a difference from what you see in here and what you see in there I don't want you to get confused so now I'm, I want to take these images here. First of all, these are the crop images that, that were taken. This is the light. It's just crop. And there's a lot of cool applications that you can do with that. But that's another tutorial. Today we're working with the full images. So let's start with those. And there's a, a code here, a batch file here, and a batch and another batch. Uh, I will explain what those are. First of all, I need something to create a video out of these images. And also, in that, I need a batch file that is going to be running the Tesseract because I don't want to be doing for each image Tesseract output, Tesseract output for each image. You'll be there all day, especially if there's a lot of images. So I created a batch file to automate it. And now I'm going to show you that batch file. are all those images the same ones that you see in there and you see them here but now I do want to show you this file right here as such and don't worry about here don't worry actually let me put it inside of here so I don't get confused because I was testing with other stuff so All it is is a batch file that is doing a loop and it's going for all PNGs, use text cleaner to make the images a lot better for Tesseract to work with and then use that format, add, create new images while the loop is going and then A plus one to keep the loop going and then end the loop. Do the same thing for now for Tesseract, and you've seen that before. It's creating the data going into that file right there. The loop is going because you don't want to. You want to keep changing the name so it knows what to do with it, so it doesn't get stuck in one image. So this is what this is doing. And then I'm creating a video that I'm gonna use that video for later for other stuff. And here I'm playing the video. Here I'm removing all of them, and here I'm outputting the data, the, the this data text that I can check later. I will also include this test uh, batch file also in the description of the video. So now let's see what we do here now. So let's close here. Yes. And now let's run it. As you can see here, you're gonna you're gonna see this being changed, being created as we speak. That's why I didn't want to take too many images because it's gonna take long. So now I hit enter, and you see the images, the pre-processed images being created. As you can see, there uh, this is just the foreground, eliminating the background, because these images uh, 
from Rhode Island, the state where I live, these images are very difficult to, to work with because they have a wave. Uh, let me show you. Do this at the same time. We gotta be waiting. As you can see, this blue thing here is very difficult to to work with. So you that you need to get rid of that background. And that's why I use these pre-processed images to get rid of that background. Okay, so now let's close this. And now you can see all of the images were created, were pre-processed here. I gotta get rid of this warning. And now Tesseract took over and is doing this. Now Tesseract is doing its thing on the, on the images, on these images right here. And all of that is being automated, so you don't have to do it one by one, one by one, one by one. You'll be here all day, so that's why I made this batch script to do it faster. And we're almost done. Now it's showing us the video. Uh, it will be using the video for something else. And it cleaned all the images. All the images are gone. Because if not, it would just be accumulating images. So I just put uh, remove all the images. So it got rid of all of them. So now if we see. Uh, let's see how it is. And now we have the crop. Crop, data text. It created that one. It created that one that one and it created a video that now we can play the video this is using VLC so you see the flashlights how I create a motion you can see the motion being detected but that's not what we care about what we care about is how good it did detecting the digits and detecting the letters and for that we need to go into this file see how well it did and as you can see it's picking up the license plate pretty good and as you can see it gets better there it's got 821527 it missed one digit but as you can see the more it does it you I do the flashlight because you see there it got them all got everything right and I use the flashlight to very to vary the light intensity. There, I did a very good job. I do to change the pixel intensity values and do some testing. That's why I use the flashlight. Because sometimes it does better than other times depending where I direct the light. But you get my point. You get my drift. You know what I what I'm doing. And that way you can test uh, you know your algorithm on uh, on real images not images that you just get from the internet and uh, this is the end of this tutorial in the next tutorial I will be doing the same thing I did but in Python and uh, I in this tutorial uh, we explained how to do that I'm going to do everything that I did but in Python the end, this is the end of this tutorial if you like this tutorial please click the like box subscribe to my channel follow me on Twitter and GitHub and I will see you next time thanks for watching